it's very interesting that, that calendars in other cultures have a very different meaning. I remember many years ago I went to Bali and uh, tried to figure out the Balinese calendar. The, the Balinese have two or three different calendars that they use concurrently. And uh, one is, I don't know, has 217 weeks in the year or some crazy number. And it's, this is their main calendar. All the rituals are organized uh, according to that calendar. And I asked uh, a Balinese, how can you ever tell which day in the year it is? This is so complex. And he said, that's not the point. <laughs> the point is to organize the rituals. They do it very well. <laughs> so then, yeah, I've been um, uh, I've been caught in the, there was a comment that you made and then I and some idea has been flowing from that so I, sort of an observation I guess mm -hmm. and that's that you mentioned um, there's no scientific evidence or approach to explain right um, you know like where science kind of ends in a way right guess, right um, and so in the Western world you know we tend to value science. Um, as more of an absolute authority, right? And we right. tend to, to yeah. be there. Um, and then, uh, uh, so then I think, you know, when we run out of science, um, like, do we let go of it as an authority, you know? Um, and, uh, um, and then I started realizing, uh, watching the dynamics between you two, right? Mm -hmm. And, uh, and the different, uh, you know, forces that come up. Um, and I started to think, okay, mm -hmm. is it science versus spiritual? Uh, patriarchal versus matriarchal? You know? uh -huh. Male versus female? And then, um, and then... Well, the casting was very good here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Absolutely. And then, and then what you just mentioned now, the Balinese uh, system of, mm -hmm. of different calendars. And I'm Korean, and so... We also use, you know, at least two different calendars, and that's the the lunar and the solar, right? The western and the eastern, you know. And yeah, and so then um, the place that I got to with all this, mm -hmm. right, was rather than uh, one is an authority or one isn't, right? You know, like the verses part. <coughs> um, I'm realizing there's no need for the verses. It's just a yin yang, right? It's, right? it's you're bringing the two sides up and showing us that. Um, it's not a right and wrong, but it's approaches, right? You know, approaches, and now we need both. We need both to, to really, you know, um, be whole, basically. Yeah. Remember, this is how I started this morning to say I'm going to present a lot of concepts, and it's not a question of right or wrong. It's a question of just looking at them, and, uh, you know, nobody has the ultimate truth. I would also like to add that um, we are, although it looks because you are looking at us like there is a female and there is a male, yeah. we have very uh, mixed energies too. I mean, Fritjof is amazingly sensitive. And so he has the brain and he also has the heart and a poet's heart, and, you know, which is to me very moving. And I'm a female and I come a lot from my heart, but I also come a lot from my head and my brain and my guts. So it's, we are embodied in a female body and male body, and you know, and somehow our interpretations seem to be a little bit more like scientists and spirituality, but the two of us um, very much blend. I think the two have the two yeah.